Eternal singer and loose women star Kelly Bryan has broken her silence, after it was revealed she pulled out of the band's reunion tour alongside Louise Redknapp. Kelly, 48, shared a statement as she addressed reports she had quit, following a row over performing at a festival popular with the LGBTQ plus community. She wrote on X, formerly Twitter, opportunities to reunite for an eternal union tour with the girls has been discussed many times over the year. As mothers, the right opportunity and timing for all of our schedules have been tricky to arrange. The relationship with our fans and the joy of celebrating our success was, and still is my motivation. My stance and allegiances have always been that I am an advocate for inclusion and equality for all. Thank you for your continued support over three decades. God bless, Kelly X. It comes as Louise, 48 also addressed the reports on Sunday afternoon when she posted a picture of the LGBTQ plus flag across all of her social media accounts, writing alongside it, always and forever. Louise and Loose Women star Kelly swiftly backed out of the tour when it emerged Sisters Easter and Vernie Bennett held anti-trans views, and refused to perform at Mighty Hoopla Festival. Louise's manager Simon Jones told the BBC. A message was sent to the team putting together the eternal reunion stating that if it was to go ahead, neither Vernie nor Easter would perform at pride shows or LGBTQ plus festivals. This was because the duo felt that the gay community was being hijacked by the trans community and they do not support this. Louise is a huge supporter and ally of the LGBTQ plus community and both herself and Kelly told the duo. They would not work with anyone who held these views, and as such the reunion as a four would not be going ahead. The team behind the proposed eternal reunion are gay including management, PR, and tour promoter, and neither myself nor any of the team would work with artists who held such views about the trans community. A source first told how Louise and Kelly were stunned and pulled out of the full tour immediately when they were informed the sisters would not. Support the LGBTQ community now it has an alliance with the trans community. The Sunday Mirror claimed Easter and Vernie refused to play the festival because of its ties to the trans community. Vernie, in particular, is said to have been vocal on social media about her views on trans causes. A source told the publication, Louise, Kelly, Easter and Vernie had all signed up to perform a huge nationwide tour next year culminating with a huge show at pop festival Mighty Hoopla, which is loved by the gay community. Then in June the girls received an email from Easter and Vernie who refused to play any gay festivals or pride. They said they can't support the LGBTQ community now it has an alliance with the trans community, a stance Vernie in particular has been public about on socials. Louise and Kelly were stunned and pulled out immediately, Louise's fan base is 98% gay men. She and Kelly believe everyone is welcome to their shows. It's a real shame for their fans who have been waiting such a long time for this moment. Eternal were famed for such smash hits as Stay and I Wanna Be The Only One. They have sold more than 10 million records worldwide, and sold a million copies of their debut album Always and Forever. Louise left the band after their first album in 1995 and started a solo career. She enjoyed a string of hits including Naked and Let's Go Round Again. Kelly, who is a mum of two, quit the band in 1998, but they briefly reformed as a trio for the big reunion on ITV2 in 2013.